Scientists have just revealed that two massive 600-mile megastructures have been detected inside our planet. Seismic wave data analysis has uncovered extensive formations located approximately 2,900 kilometers below Earth's surface, precisely at the juncture where the Earth's molten core meets the solid mantle. Doyon Kim and his research team at the University of Maryland have conducted a thorough analysis of data gathered from numerous significant earthquakes. Their study has unveiled a previously undiscovered geological feature lying beneath the volcanic Marquesas Islands, situated in the expanse of the South Pacific Ocean. This newly identified structure, termed as an ultra-low velocity zone, spans an impressive diameter of approximately 1,000 kilometers, or 620 miles. Ultra-low velocity zones, known for their slower passage of seismic waves, remain shrouded in mystery regarding their composition. The intriguing aspect lies in the uncertainty surrounding whether these zones possess a chemical makeup distinct from that of Earth's iron-nickel alloy core and silicate rock mantle, or exhibit varying thermal characteristics. Currently, the exact nature and components of these structures continue to evade scientific understanding. In an extensive study, scientists unraveled the configuration through a meticulous examination of 7,000 datasets documenting seismic movements originating from earthquakes in the vicinity of the Pacific Ocean Basin spanning from 1990 to 2018. All these seismic events had a magnitude exceeding 6.5 on the Richter scale and originated at depths surpassing 200 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. This thorough investigation shed light on the intricacies of the seismic activities occurring within this region during the specified time frame. The research team conducted a detailed analysis of echoes produced by shear waves, a particular type of seismic wave, while they traversed the interface between the Earth's core and mantle. Discerning between the shear wave echoes and random noise on a single seismogram posed a significant challenge. To tackle this issue, the researchers leveraged a sophisticated machine learning algorithm that was originally developed for detecting patterns within vast datasets in the field of astronomy. This innovative approach allowed them to discern subtle trends and anomalies within the seismic data, opening up new possibilities for understanding the complexities of the Earth's interior structure and dynamics. Through the concurrent examination of a multitude of shear waves, a profound discovery surfaced concerning a massive formation lying beneath the Marquesas Islands. Furthermore, the research team uncovered that the ultra-low velocity zone previously identified below Hawaii extends significantly beyond initial estimations, indicating a larger expanse than initially ascertained. Studying the Earth's mantle holds significant importance, as stressed by Kim, due to its potential to provide insights into the evolution and transformations of the planet's structures throughout various epochs. Kim highlights the Earth's mantle as the region where convection processes take place, serving as the principal driver for phenomena such as hotspot volcanism and the movement of lithospheric plates. Identifying ultra-low velocity zones serves as a crucial tool in unraveling the mysterious origins of certain volcanoes that potentially stem from deep within the Earth, shedding light on the mysterious composition of Earth's lower mantle. The ultra-low velocity zone is one of the most mysterious and least understood regions within the Earth's mantle. Despite its significance in shaping the planet's geodynamic processes, our knowledge about these zones remains limited sparking scientific intrigue and prompting further investigation. Ultra-low velocity zones are anomalous regions found deep within the Earth's mantle, located just above the core mantle boundary. These zones exhibit seismic velocities, significantly slower than the surrounding mantle, making them distinct features within the Earth's interior. While these zones have been identified using seismic tomography, which maps the Earth's interior using seismic waves, their exact composition, structure and formation mechanisms remain poorly understood. One of the primary reasons for our limited understanding of ultra-low velocity zones is their inaccessible location deep beneath the Earth's surface. Situated approximately 2,900 kilometers beneath the Earth's crust, these zones are beyond the reach of direct observation and exploration. Consequently, scientists rely on indirect methods, such as seismic imaging and mineral physics experiments, to infer properties of ultra-low velocity zones. Seismic observations have provided valuable insights into the existence and distribution of ultra-low velocity zones. By analyzing the behavior of seismic waves as they pass through the Earth's interior, 
Scientists have detected regions of anomalously low seismic velocities consistent with these zones. These observations suggest that they may play a crucial role in influencing the propagation of seismic waves and the dynamics of mantle convection. Despite these advancements, significant gaps remain in our understanding of this area. One of the key challenges is determining the composition and mineralogy of ultra-low velocity zones. While various hypotheses have been proposed, including the presence of dense minerals such as iron-rich silicates or the accumulation of subducted oceanic crust and sediments, conclusive evidence is lacking. Without direct sampling or imaging of this region, confirming their composition remains a daunting task. The Earth's core, located beneath the rocky mantle and outer crust, is one of the most mysterious and least accessible regions of our planet. Comprising primarily iron and nickel, the core plays a fundamental role in shaping Earth's geophysical processes and magnetic field. Despite its significance, our understanding of the Earth's core remains limited, and many mysteries persist. The Earth's core is divided into two distinct regions, the outer core and the inner core. The outer core, composed primarily of liquid iron and nickel, extends from a depth of about 2,890 km to 5,100 km beneath the Earth's surface. Beneath the outer core lies the inner core, a solid metallic sphere with a radius of approximately 1,200 km. One of the primary methods used to study the Earth's core is seismic tomography, which involves analyzing the behavior of seismic waves as they travel through the Earth's interior. By monitoring the arrival times and paths of seismic waves generated by earthquakes, scientists can infer properties of the core, such as its composition, density, and temperature distribution. Seismic studies have revealed valuable insights into the structure and dynamics of the Earth's core. For example, seismic waves travel at different velocities depending on the material they pass through, allowing scientists to distinguish between the solid inner core and the liquid outer core. Additionally, seismic observations have provided evidence of density variations and seismic anomalies within the core, shedding light on its complex internal structure. Another method used to study the Earth's core is geomagnetic field analysis. Earth's magnetic field is generated by the motion of molten iron in the outer core, a process known as the geodynamo mechanism. By monitoring changes in Earth's magnetic field over time, scientists can infer properties of the core such as its composition, conductivity, and fluid dynamics. Despite these advancements, many mysteries surrounding the Earth's core remain unresolved. One of the key challenges is determining the exact composition of the core and understanding its behavior under extreme conditions of temperature and pressure. While experiments conducted under high pressure and high temperature conditions provide valuable insights, direct sampling of the core is beyond the reach of current technology. Another mystery of the Earth's core is the origin of Earth's magnetic field reversals, which occur irregularly over geological timescales. These reversals involve a weakening and reversal of the magnetic field polarity, with the magnetic north and south poles swapping positions. While the geodynamo mechanism provides a plausible explanation for the generation of Earth's magnetic field, the exact processes leading to magnetic field reversals remain poorly understood. Furthermore, the dynamics of the Earth's core are influenced by complex interactions between convective motions, thermal gradients, and chemical processes. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for predicting changes in Earth's magnetic field and seismic activity. However, modeling the behavior of the core requires sophisticated numerical simulations and high-performance computing resources, presenting significant challenges for researchers. So, what do you make of this mysterious discovery? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.